You saw me finish this when we were at the Historical Society in Auburn, in which I did a kind of a quick value study of the building, and I showed it in perspective. And when I was there, I had this block of wood and talked about perspective. Now, if you look across the street, there's a building, but it's a different perspective. This perspective was two point, that's one point. So let me just go in my studio and now, now I'm now at my house and I can show you the difference between the two. Here's a few examples for what Bev is talking about with one point perspective and the house. You might be thinking of traditional one point perspective where you have a long scene viewed down either a river or a road or maybe railroad lines. And when you're looking down that long scene, you can clearly see where all the roof lines and the windows and other things converge on a single point in the distance. So that is traditional one point perspective. In, the, in comparison, straight on perspective would be like a cartoony kind of look where there is no depth indication at all. The lines you see here are the straight on angles of the roof or angles of the window and not any indication of depth in the image. So if you looked at this kind of a cartoon image, you might think, well, this is also just a flat representation. But the key in figuring out something like this is to look carefully for signs. So look at the roof. Those roof lines are actually parallel to each other in reality. So the sense that they have a directional slope to them is because of perspective. So this is a one point perspective image. So with that in mind, let's take another look at this. Is this a flat image? or is this a one point perspective image? And the key is to look for subtle little indicators of how perspective might be affecting this image that we're looking at. And what you can find is if you look at the mailbox, you know that the mailbox top and bottom lines are actually parallel to each other, but in the image, they have a tiny bit of slope. And similarly, the side of the garage over there should be parallel, but there's a tiny amount of slope. And then there's a tiny amount of slope in the distance between the roof line and the molding of the house. So when you find those little kinds of indicators of distance, then that'll give you the direction of the one point perspective, even in an image that seems mostly flat to you.